thank you thank you giving me opportunity for uh, introducing our own member and such a down to earth personality ca manish bhai pasar uh, he is a partner of perry and company chartered accountants practicing chartered accountant from 1997 and senior partner in perry and company chartered accountants past convener of gadkopar cp study circle of wirc year 2012 and during his uh, convenership uh, the he has received best study circle award within mumbai under medium cp study circle category by wirc of uh, mamta your voice mamta mamta your voice is gone hello hello mamta हेलो ममता हेलो हेमंत हेमंत प्लीज कंटिन्यू ओके आई थिंक आई विल कंटिन्यू सम प्रॉब्लम इन हर माइक आई थिंक ओके uh uh during his convenership our our circle has received our circle has received a best circle award with the mumbai under medium six circle category by the press vice chair they request members to click unmute themselves i request members to please unmute themselves sorry please mute themselves the current disturbances i request members to please mute themselves yeah thank you yeah hope i'm audible मनीष भाई हेज डिलीवर्ड प्रोफेशनल लेक्चर्स एट डेटा मेट्रिक्स लिमिटेड रिनाउंड आई टी हाउसेज ऑन सब्जेक्ट ऑफ सैलरी एंड टैक्स एप्लीकेशन वॉज चेयरमैन ऑफ सेशन ऑन वॉज अ चेयरमैन ऑन द सेशन ऑन बैंक ब्रांच ऑडिट ऑर्गेनाइज बाई स्टूडियो चार्ट अकाउंटेंट एंड कॉस्ट अकाउंटेंट्स डिलीवर्ड लेक्चर्स ऑन टैक्स ऑडिट रिसेंट अमेंडमेंट ऑर्गेनाइज बाई टैक्स प्रोटिशनर्स इन थाने टू थाउंड फोर्टीन He delivered lectures on tax audit amendments and finance act proposals at our own study circle WIC. He has presented paper on case studies in taxation at residential refers course of Gadkopar and Mullan organized in the year 2019. Uh, he is also having a bit of reading articles on professions and on politics. With this, I introduce you all our own Manish Bhai Pasha. Manish Bhai, please uh, yes. take your charge. Please join the session. Thank you. Thank you, Pratibhai. Thank you, Madam, for coming. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. This topic yeah, is so important. So, uh, and Manish is taking our own members. So, I think uh, it should go very well. So, great to yes, hear that at very right and apt time, this topic has been taken. So, yes, great uh, contribution, Bhavin by an entire team of Cat Co Study. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah, Manish, ma'am, please continue. Yes. Thank you, Madam, for your nice. Uh, Uh, wordings and uh, on the topic thank you thank you bhavan bhai thank you mamta ben for a nice introduction friend i request please if possible kindly unmute so that all can hear it properly i am thankful of the gadkopur city city circle for giving this me opportunity to i can say look at the id portal the facilities what they inserted it in what is available in the facilities what facilities is not starting which is still not working is my voice audible yes sir yes sir perfectly perfectly is audible okay okay yeah i am also thankful of the core committee of the gadkopar who are my guiding force and my journey for gadkopar city study circle they have all time 
being helpful and i am before you because of their all efforts so i am thankful of the all board committee members of the galpopo civil thank you very much now we will come to the subject proper friends i have divided the presentation in the five categories what is the scope of id portal what facilities they have provided which are the new facilities what facilities has been enabled what facilities are yet to be enabled and finally on the technical glitches there are some technical glitches and which has been causing a concern for the professionals friends this project for this new id portal was given to the infosys limited with the government's things to provide all taxpayers a high qualified foreign services like a foreigner in manish bhai ek minute manish bhai ek minute some members are saying that there is no voice voice is low but i think i am able to hear it perfectly okay uh, i think it is perfect members please check your system or check your uh, uh, connections and all that i think we are able to hear please yeah manish bhai please continue. any any other one person can confirm not but uh, no but low it is yeah. someone is saying milan dosh is low yeah i think we continue members i think voice is perfect milan bhai just check your system yes tamari so voice low is yeah yeah so please continue manish bhai please continue yes 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 so uh, there are technical glitches and this project was given to the infosys with the mindset that to provide a taxpayers a high quality services as prevalent in the developed countries but there are initial any new system setups there are initial problems initial technical glitches maybe this might take the current season two three months to resolve the issues there are many issues are coming and many issues are getting resolved also as then when we will move out forward to the presentation you will get the idea what are resolved and still what are yet to be resolved and what are the new issues which is again propping up also so resources that it portal we will study new features in the it portal features enabled till yesterday features forms yet to start technical issues glitches till yesterday whatever has come to the my mind or which i have practiced or which is in my knowledge there might be many more issues which many who have tried to file the forms may might be getting it off but which i might not have tried what was the objective for the new it portal the government has sought ease of compliance that compliance is that the new it portal would be very easy that was the intention of the government while moving towards the new it portal refund mm -hmm. processing time to reduce from 60 days from 60 days to one this was the intention of the government in the previous portal they were saying that refund processing time is 60 days which they want to reduce it to the one day so if you file return today maybe by tomorrow or within a week you might get a refund for the if any refund due is in the return that was the government intention but mind well i have filed one return on 13 june no intimation has been received or i don't think so any intimation for the current year has come or received by any chartered accountants so there is some issue it has not been uh, the whatever the government intention was there to reduce it to one day it has not moved in that same direction data mining government wants its data for the all ssc at one location and from there they can get the idea whether whatever the income or whatever the uh, information available with them whether it has been declared properly by the ssc so that was the intention of the government single window access to the taxpayers stakeholders for the income tax related services free it preparation software 
So this was the broad objective of the government, which was in mind for moving towards the new IT portal. The site address is now www.incometax.gov.in. If you recollect, the previous site was incometaxindia.gov.in. Now it has been changed to this incometax.gov.in. Even if you move to the old website, e filing website, it will connect you to this new website only. What are the new features in the ID portal which was not there in the old ID portal? Annual information statement. Now, annual information statement we are visible. I hope uh, in the, my presentation, latest slides, we have downloaded an annual information statement and which you can be able to see it off. Please note, for the year 2021, generation of the annual information statement has not been started. So till now, only 2020, only annual information statement is generated. And this statement is generated not from the ID portal, it connects to the compliance portal and from there you can download it in PDF. DSC registration. Friends, if you are aware, in the previous, in the previous portal, when the DSC we were registering it off, it was needs to be registered if you are a partner in any company or you are, if you are a director in any company or you are a partner in any firm, in all you need to register DSC separately. So this has been done away. Now, if suppose Manish Pasad is a partner in 10 firms and director in three companies, if he registers DSC in his individual capacity at all places, there is no need to register separately, it will work. So that has been the new features in the ID. And now DSC registration, which was giving the increasing troubleness in the starting stage, now it is smooth, all are able to register DSC. Maybe some issues with the NRI cases are there, still it is there, but all otherwise, maybe the, now this problem has been resolved. Outstanding demand. Commented by AO comes. Suppose you have any outstanding demand outstanding, which you have objected or which you have replied, like rectification is pending or any issue. Now, AO has to give the comment whether this demand is correct or not correct. That demand commented by the AO is visible and he has to put his, give his response and against that response, you can also resubmit your response. So suppose if you are not agreeing with the assessing officer's comment, you can again resubmit your response so that assessing officer has to again verify it off and give again the response. This is the features. Further, the interest calculation also comes from which date the order has been passed and till now if you have not paid till now how the interest has been computed so that also has been visible we will practically see in one of the cases after the presentation is over how it is visible what are the additional new features there are higher security through e-filing vault through secure assets message through strategic password. These are the additional features whereby the, through, through income tax login, you can have more securities, which was not there in the previous portal. Anyone might have tried it off. I have not tried in any of the features. It is e-filing vault, secure assets message, strategic password. Only just because of the reason, as it is having a trading trouble, it might give a trouble. So that's why I have not tried it off. But these are the features which are active at present. It also gives, when you log in, it gives at which time last time you logged in and last time you log out. So the time at which you log in in last time and time at which you log out, which the date also is coming. You can have the idea who has logged in at what point of time if, to avoid any malpractices or any false logging. Friends in the IT portal, 
down side map is available. If you visit the site map, you know, then it has the detailed information on finding by each SEC. If suppose you click on individual and the individual, what are the deductions available? What are the salary deductions? What are the exemptions available? All information has been provided in a detailed manner. So anyone who looks into that information, the deduct, whatever he has to take a starting deduction, HRA, all things are been available. It is in a very detailed manner. For the all SEC, if you are a partnership, you are a business SEC, for all the SEC, the detailed information is available, which previously in the old IT portal was not available. So these are the all major new features in the IT portal. There might be many more new features will be available. Now friends will move. What are the viewability of the IT portal? It contains dashboard. We will go to the each individual item, whatever in each individual item, what is available. Then next is the E5. Whenever you log in, first is the dashboard available, then e file is available, third is the authorized partners, four is the services, fifth pending actions, six grievances, and help is available. Each of these dashboard is having a certain another things, which we will do in the next presentation, but it contains the all information dashboard, e file, authorized partners, services, pending actions, grievances. Now, what are there in the dashboard? In the dashboard, it contains tax deposits. Tax deposit is a chart whereby comparison of given of the last year with the current year, how much last year you paid advanced tax. How much you paid TDS? How much self assessment tax has been paid? Last year's and current year's comparison in a chart mode is available in a tax deposit under dashboard. In the recent file return, in the chart, it is comparison with the last year returns. The what is income shown? What is tax paid? And what is tax assessed? That chart of the current year to the previous year in a chart mode is available in the recent file returns. Again, it is in the dashboard. Pending actions. Pending actions means the actions which needs to be completed by taxpayer. That is the pending actions available. So suppose if you file the return, but that return is yet to be e-verified. So that will come in the pending actions. This actions needs to be completed. If you have filed the tax audit report, but it has not been approved by the chartered accountant, it will come out as pending actions. Recent forms file. Recent forms files, it contains the return what you have filed presently, recently. Maybe the current year returns, maybe the 148 returns, maybe in response to the 1399, whatever is the recent what you have filed, that form will come. Grievances. So these are all features available under the dashboard. And deposits, recent file returns, pending actions, recent form files, grievances. Next, e file income tax returns. Under the file income tax return, view file return, e verify return. View form 26 A's, download prefilled data. Those who are using the IT unitary daily for the purpose of the filing the returns, they can download the prefilled data. The prefilled data will contain the SSC's name, address, other details, everything, TDS details, and the 26 A's, advanced text, everything it will contain. That will be the prefilled data. Here, the prefilled of the salary plus capital gains is yet not started. 
which previously they have it in the mind, but it is not even started. So it doesn't contain the details of the like salary, whatever TDS is related is coming, but gross salary figure is not coming. If I income tax forms, file income tax forms, view file forms. So it has the details. Friends, in the subsequent side, we might be having the detailed lookout of the forms. What are the forms presently available and which are for the purpose of the SEC who are under the business and professions and for the purpose of the SEC who are not having the income from the business and professions. Authorized partners. This is the third feature. My CA. Friends, as you are aware, there are many forms which needs to be filed by the CA first, and that needs to be approved by the SST. This facility of my CA is yet not started. But when you log in from the CA to view it off, or when you log in from the SEC, it is showing by default period up to 31st March 2022. I don't know. Previously in the old portal, we were supposed to file this form every year. So suppose if I am a tax auditor for a private limited company, I need to file the form DCA every year so that this form I can file it from the my individual login. This I need to be do, do, uh, do you fit from the SSA login. I need to select my CA and then I need to file it off. But this facility for the current year has yet not been started by the ID portal, mainly because since the 3CB, 3CB forms are also yet not started. Hence, due to that, it has not been yet started. Register as a representative SEC. Those who want to register as a representative SEC, they can do it from the authorized partner under that register as a representative SEC. And after submitting the forms, various forms, or whatever it is required, they can register as a representative SEC. Authorize another person to act on behalf. This also the facility is available under the authorized partner. Now here, in the register of the representative SEC or authorize another person, there are certain issues which are coming for the purpose of the non resident. So, for the non resident, if you want to register as a representative SEC or another person, it is giving some issues. Maybe it is a, it might be solved within a few days, but there are problems in the non resident SEC. In all other SEC, this facility is working smooth. Now, services. Refund reissue. This services is yet to be started by the IT department. Many of the friends might have received the assessment order in the month of April or May, but refund for the same is yet to be received. Someone has received, someone has not received. In my office, we are facing three issues, three uh, three SEC's case whereby the order we have received in the March and April month, which is a huge refund amount, but till late the refund has not come. We have raised the grievances also on the portal, but still no grievances has been replied. It is still showing under the submitted mode. So this refund issue is not started. It is giving a issues to the taxpayer whose refund has been blocked. Conversion request. This has also been not started. Generate EVC. Friends, if you want to e verify the written which is submitted, as you are aware, you can e verify through three ways. First, through Aadhaar OTP. If your Aadhaar number has been in other your mobile number has been registered. 
So if mobile number has been registered, you will receive a uh, six digit number and which you can put and whereby your return can be e-verified. Then there was EVC can be generated through bank account and through demat account. This facility has yet not been started by the CPC portal for the year current year. Further, e verification through net banking that is also not been started by the CPC in the current year. Hence, there are issues with the e verification for the person whose mobile number has not been registered in ADA. I would request all the members who are filing the returns and if they are aware that other number is in other mobile number is registered while filing please select e-verify immediately don't go for e-verify letter as for e-verify letter the portal is giving teething troubles at present if you do it e-verify immediately otp is coming and through OTP, the e-verification can be done immediately. So, kindly not to select the option e-verify letter if the mobile number is been registered in ADA. This EVC facility for generation through bank and through demand and through net banking. It might be started within few days, but presently the same is non-operational. Manage ITD reporting. View download ePen. This is a new facility started in the new portal. If suppose you apply PAN number on the basis of the ADA and IT portal, then you will be able to view and download ePAN. Mind well, this is only for the taxpayer who has been allotted PAN through portal. If your PAN is before that or you have not been allotted, you apply through NSDL and UTI, for you this facility is not available. Only the new PAN number which has been through other generated from the portal, then that SSC only can view and download ePAN. So these are all features available under the services, out of which some are started, some are not started. Only I think so in the services, view and download ePAN only has started. Rest all four is yet to start. Pavan, voice is audible, no? Yeah, yes, sir, yes, sir. Please continue. Yes, please. Yeah, okay, okay. Am I going fast or it is okay? Please, perfect, perfect. Sir. Okay, thank you. Pending actions. It shows work list, the work list which is yet to be completed by the SEC. Response to outstanding demand. Here the demand, outstanding demand is visible till AY 2021. No, uh, friends, it needs to be corrected. It's visible till AY 2010, 2010, 2010. Till 2010 is available. It needs to be corrected. I have mentioned it 2020-21, but now the old demand till 2010 is visible. E proceedings. E proceedings is a whereby you need to submit a response to your 148 notices, to your appellate proceedings, or any notice sent by the assessing officer. Maybe it is 136. So all that will be available in e proceedings, whereby you need to submit your response. Annual information statement will be available from download under pending actions. It has not been started for the year 2021. 
कंप्लायंस पोर्टल रिपोर्टिंग पोर्टल the link for the compliance portal and reporting portal is available from the pending of access whereby you can go and submit any notice has been come for the compliance team or for any reporting is there friends here under the pending actions and any information statement has not started friends, all functions are working like response to outstanding demand is working e proceedings are also working now previously in filing the uh, this notices returns under uh, 148 were giving the trouble but now more or less pending some cases more or less all return has been filed in response to notice under section 148 grievances and last is the grievances friends as compared to the previous id portal the grievances in the new id portal has been very neglected area i have been understood or some article i have read whereby more than 2 lakh grievances has been filed by the ssc and which are yet to be replied by the id uh, in the police department even in my one of the cases we have filed the grievances in june it is still under the submitted status so grievance response has been very poor or i can say very neglected area in the portal and the reply also what we are receiving in the grievance portal that is also not up to the mark in one of our case we have received the reply whereby it says your grievance has been resolved your matter has been escalated to higher level that is the resolution by just you are just shifting your liability that your matter has been escalated to higher authority your grievance has been resolved and they are closing the grievance even many of the cases even said hello manish bhai your voice yeah once again now your voice is coming yeah yeah hello yeah okay come in my last grievance is been heard Yeah, grievances. We are on grievances. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So in the grievances, there are many issues are there. I mean, it has been not replied properly. Many have filed the grievances who were not able to verify, who were not able to file for written under section for one forty eight. But the reply for the grievances or the reply whatever is coming is not up to the mark. Friends. Under the my profile, my bank account. This has been also area of the concern. In the previous portal, anyone has done the validated bank account. But when you are logging or when you are checking, it, the SSC is checking from the in the new portal, it shows the status as validation is in progress. or it is not validated even though it was validated in the previous portal so you need to do it again and you need to validate it again for filing the return also it shows error if your bank account is not been pre validated further due to the merger of the banks many banks have been merged which was previously now new bank new ifsc code new account number so i request all of the members to please take special care for the ssc in where the banks have been merged whereby you were holding the account in the previously old merged old entity and now new bank has come 
because otherwise your refund will get failed. And presently refund reissue is also not working. So what will happen? You will not be able to receive the refund until the refund reissue facility is started. So kindly keep and kindly update the my bank account for all the CC properly with proper care. Further, one more thing. Now, if you are doing a e verification through net banking, your email address, which is registered in the bank, and your email address, which is registered in IT portal, it should be the same. If it is a different email address, then when you are doing e verification, it will pop up error that your email address has been this. Hence, you need to have the same email address at IT portal and at bank. Previously, in the old IT portal regime, that was not the things. Even though you were logging from the bank portal, the returns were getting successfully verified. But the new IT portal, it matches the email with the bank and the email, what you have which is your register under your profile, both should match. So kindly take care for that. Because you should need to take a precaution for that. E-filing vault higher security. I have not tried this. If anyone has tried this, kindly share after my presentation is over. In the question and answer, kindly share it off. If anyone has tried this e-filing vault security. Secure access message. It is also the same whereby you can give some message like I left a tongue. This is a message whereby if you done it, if you do it, it will have the additional security. Static password. This is also another feature for higher security. Jurisdictional details. Detail of your assessing officer, its email address and its address. Source of income, key person details, key person details are available, which you need to add if it is in a partnership firm or in the company, who are the key persons. Authorized signatory for ITR forms, you need to add the authorized signatory. Suppose for the director who is authorized for the private limited company, you need to add in the authorized signatory. Friends, these are the, I have explained the, what are the features available. Now, what are the features from CA to start? Rectifications. The rectifications for any intimation has not been started. Friends, we are aware the rectifications carry time bound work. You need to do the, apply for the rectification within a period of four years. But the ratification at the new portal has not been started. The BCA, Bombay Chartered Accountant Society have written 14 page letter to the finance minister on 12th August only, whereby they have highlighted many issues. Many issues, it is a 14 page letter, whereby they have said these are all the things which are presently we are facing it off. So kindly look for the time bound solution and start the facilities which are already started. IT order download. This facilities is also yet not started. You are not able to download the previous year's orders. Tax audit. Tax audit forms 3CA, 3CB, 3CD are not available. Friends, in the meeting which was held by the finance minister with the ICAI and with the Infosys on 22nd June, it was informed that these forms will be available in the first week of July. But now we are in the end of the second week of August, but still these forms are not available. On one way, I can say it is good why it is not available. 
because the forms which are yet available are also having multiple issues. The forms are not getting saved. The OTP is not going. The OTP which goes, it says incorrect OTP. There are multiple issues are there. So if suppose you are filing the text or it form and if it is not saved and again you have to fill up the form, whole form, it is a unique task, I can say. So definitely they should provide one offline link when by the offline you prepare it off and you can the CSV file or whatever mode file, just a file is there, which you upload to the portal, whereby your whole form will be generated on the portal, which you need to file it off. That will be good. Otherwise, if you need to file the form, which is from the IT utility, it will be unique in task. And if it is not getting saved, like what's what happening for the other forms presently, it will give a troublesome to the all professions. ITR form 567. These are form yet not come. ITR 1234, the filing has been started. Some software providers have started ITR 3. Some software providers have not started ITR 3. Further, one more thing, friends. I was also using the government utility for filing the forms from various years, from the starting till now. But in the current year, the way in which the form has been prepared, or the form has been available in the IT portal, the to filing through IT portal forms is giving more trouble. It will definitely it will not get filed within one or two, three chances. You need to try three, four times. If it contains all the income, like suppose if it should have business income, it should have house property, it should have capital gain, it should have 112A income, again dividend income, again quarterly breakup, definitely it will not go if you are using ITR form in one or two or three go. You need to do it minimum three four times, then only it might be fine. So the point which was I was emphasizing, if you are not using if you are only using the IT portal utility, kindly look into to some software providers and take the help of the software, it will be better help. Because the forms which has been provided on the IT is not easy to file for the system. I will give you one more example. One of my friend's brother, my friend is chartered accountant, his brother is working in the Reliance, in the commercial department very good scope, a uh, very good position. From last 12 years, he was filing the form. He has told seven, eight days ago to me, he was just reporting that I am not able to see the IT portal, uh, IT portal login. Then I told him that kindly minimize the size to 90. He minimized the size to 90 from the Google page setup size. From there, he was able to see the IT portal. Then he did the login. After login, after 15 20 minutes, he has saved the profile. Afterwards, he again called me. He told me that my profile is showing 85% complete, but I have completed everything. So, there is a, this is the problem with the uh, uh, site presently. But the profile, now they have removed that percentage thing. Now it is not coming that your profile is 100% complete or 90% complete. Now it is not visible from last 10 days. So, you need to see if you can take the help of the, some software providers or whoever, whatever the software is available, then it will be better to file the forms because at least you will be saved from the mistakes. Because in the IT portal, in the uh, next part of my presentation, I have highlighted near about 40, 50 glitches, which are still, still going on in the IT portal. From wherever you will notice that if you file the return through the IT utility, there is a definite chance and there is a very good chance that mistakes will happen. Refund reissue request, this feature is yet to start. 
for non action request, it is here to start. My CA facility, this is here to start. So these are all the facilities which are yet to start on the portal. So we are, the portal started on 7th June. We are at 14th August. After a span of 68 days, these are the facilities. It has not been started. If we see through bank, demand, net banking, these are yet to start. Features, which, what are the features which is started? What are the facilities which is started? Filing of ITR 124, this has been started. In the uh, July month, in the July end, there was a issues with the filing. Still the issues are still going on, but now more or less the filing has been good. Only acknowledgement or saving the acknowledgement, downloading the acknowledgement is getting in trouble. We will come to the later part. What are the issues there? Filing of TDS return through 10 login, it has been started. Filing of appeal, it has been started. Form 15C, 15CB, it has been started. Although there are some bottlenecks and releases are available there, but now it is started, which was not available previously. E proceedings, your reply to 148 notices or you reply to appeal submission and other thing now it has been started. Filing of various forms. Friends, filing of various forms has started, but there are many issues in this. We will come to the later part of the presentation what are the issues which I have noticed. But now it has started. The major issue I will highlight it is related to the saving of the form. Form is not getting saved. So, I will give you one example. I tried to form 10 IB for my client who was Every time I need to fill the details again and again, nothing has been saved. The OTP is going, OTP is going, but when I'm putting the right OTP, it says invalid details and through which it is not getting filed. Same thing is happening with the form 10A. 10A is getting filed with DSC, digital signature it is getting filed. But 10 is not getting filed through OTP till yesterday. I am not aware about today if anyone has filed it off. Other forms also. If you want to opt for the new tax regime, you cannot file the return for the current year unless you have filed the form. And if you go for filing the form, that form is not getting filed. Same error of the OTP. So you cannot file the form, hence you are not able to file the return also. This already we have discussed, filing of form 10A for the trust. Response to outstanding this demand. This has been started. You can respond to any outstanding demand. And now in the outstanding demand, they are giving the competition also, whereby you can have the idea how the outstanding demand is there. And you can respond it to the demand, whether demand is correct or not correct. And then with the other features, whether appellate effect is not been given or rectification has been filed or appeal has been filed, stay has been obtained. There are 11 features are available, uh, drop downs are available 11 from which you can select anyone and accordingly you can proceed and give the response to the outstanding demand. Now, now friends will come to the technical issues and glitches. These are the issues and glitches which I have noticed. There might be many more. 
there might be many more issues and cases will be available which other persons might have noticed or which i might not have tried i have not filed any trust form so i am not aware about the trust uh, issues going on i have not filed any appeal form so maybe the appellate forms from 35 whatever the issues are going on i might not be aware there might be many issues with that now issue of login slow functioning friends many times when we log it is moving only loading only it comes i am surprised what would happen when we will be in the last week of red line like previous years if we see through various years through various data in last week or last three four days i can say in the from the all the offices five percent ten percent are written are filed or many written are filed so if site doesn't work in a smooth manner in a proper manner it will give a lot of trouble to us hence my humble request to all of you kindly don't wait till the last day or till the last week i can say if suppose filing date or presently we can see for the non audit cases the date is 30 september kindly plan to file before 23 september i know i am saying something in the present scenario which seems something not proper but don't wait till last because you never know what technical issue glitches will come in the last stage and if date is not getting extended you will have the issues for the late fees and other issues as prescribed in the act so kindly don't wait till the last day try to file because in the current year the portal might give the trouble even at the last moment also the portal might give the trouble so when the load will be more just imagine presently the load is very much less but still the portal is giving trouble on the loading and everything so please take care for that in case of nri otp is not received on the oasis number it requires the indian number so that is the issues i have highlighted near about 30 40 issues are there after the my presentation is over in the question answers we will try to over we will take the the other issues what might be there i might give the answer if I, it is in my knowledge the answer is available if it is not available then it will be like these technical issues which are yet to be resolved filing of form 15 ca 15 cb although it has started but there are many issues in this putting unit number is also not provided where to provide the unit number for this for the chartered accountant plus there are many issues are there for filing hc of return hc of return in itr2 is not getting filed one of my colleagues here told that idea 3 is filed two days ago for the hcf i have not tried it but idea 2 is not getting filed and this issue is lasting from last almost i can say 30 days this small issue is resolved in the idea i don't know matlab where the problem either they are not getting the response from the taxpayers chartered accountants or their bodies or what but this small issue is not getting resolved i am in touch with one of the uh, chartered accountant from the south who is uh, the one of the 10 persons who is every day communicating with the infosys in the finance ministry regarding the issues glitches and on day to day basis the resolutions last time he told me 10 days ago that this issue will be resolved 
but still the issue persists. This issue has not been resolved. Due to which all actual written filing in idea 2 has get stuck. Hopefully, maybe within a week or by fortnight, this issue might get resolved. Presently, those who are using the idea utility of the portal, the new version which has been released on 10th August 1.08. On uh, 2nd August, they have released 1.05. On 4th August, they have released another version. On 6th August, they have released another version. And on 10th, again, they have released another version. They are releasing the version with the modification and with the issues, whatever they come across. Like in the release 5 and 6, there was a problem that BSR code was not getting verified. So all ID returns pre prepared in ITR 5 or ITR uh, version 5 or version 6 were really an issue whereby the BSR code valid was not valid. But now in the new release, which is on the 10th of August, the BSR code has been resolved, but there are more issues are there. So as and when there you just need to see the site under the downloads, the date, date on which the utility has come. Last utility is on the 10th of August 2021. And on the 10th August, its version is 1.0.8. Desktop utility 1.0.8. This is a major issue. ITRV or acknowledgement not getting downloaded. I have learned that someone is telling me that if I click on today downloading, it will come for downloading after three, four days. Here, I would request all of the members to kindly not to do the e-verify letter if Aadhaar is having a mobile number registered. So there, if you do it, it will get immediately verified and you are able to, once the other is verified, number is verified, mobile number, you, OTP is coming and it is getting verified, you are able to download immediately. And if you select and download immediately, then then acknowledgement is available. But there are issues and there are many more issues are there. Today, one of the CA told, yes, file the return on 27th July. And it was e-verified on 3rd of August, but still the acknowledgement is not visible. Acknowledgement is not available for downloading. So this issue is there. One of the other issue was there, e-verify was not available after login. So if you notice friends for e-verify, there are two options available. One, you can do the e-verification from the outside itself only and once you do e-verification from after login also whereby you click on e-verify button which was not getting clicked previously but now that button is getting clicked and whereby you can e-verify but IPR acknowledgement is not getting downloaded that problem is still available here there is no logic I don't know what up it might come within seven days, ten days. There is no, uh, no one gave the idea why it is not coming and when it will come. There is no answer available as of now to me. Data pertaining before AY 2013 14 not visible. So your any written file before AY 2013 14, it is not visible presently in the portal. So you return, if you have filed of the SEC, you want to verify or download the acknowledgement for 11, 12. Presently, this is not visible. They say it will be available. Let us see when it will be available. Presently, the scenario is that it is not visible for AY 2014. Form 10B, 10IE and various other forms getting filed, also saving issue. Friends, I told you, you know, form 10B, which I tried four times. 
still it is not getting fine. The issue is what? 10 B is for reduction for ATGG, rent pay. The only issue is what? OTP is going, but OTP is incorrect. In, in spite of I am putting right OTP. Form 10 I. 10 I is if you are opting for tax under the new regime. If you are opting under the new regime tax, you need to file the form 10 I. And here also the problem is same. It is not getting filed through OTP. Mind you, this is getting filed through DSC. If you have a DSC, if you have a digital signature of that person, then this will get filed. But through OTP, presently it is giving the error. Bank account validation issues. Multiple bank account number for same SEC visible. In one of our client case, his State Bank of India account, only he was having a one account. But in the IT new portal, same account number was appearing six times. Same account number. I don't know what issue is there. And I cannot delete it also. Because it is the same account number. When I'm going for deletion, it is asking me two options whether account has been closed or deactivated. Now my account is running, I cannot deactivate it. E verification, I already told to you. E verification through net banking, through bank account or 3D met functionality, it is yet to start. Trust filing form, form 10A filing with OTP, it is showing the error of server issue. But through DSC, it is working and it is filing. Yesterday, one of my colleague uh, friend has filed four forms through DSC, through DSC form 10A. This is for the trust. Prefill data with salary, income from other sources, details are not coming. Friends, if you recollect, our finance minister told that now in the income tax returns, you will get a prefilled data for all the income you have. Like you will have a prefilled data for the capital gains, and everything, the data will be prefilled. But presently, the prefilled data for income from other sources, for the salary, presently it is not coming. Issue of date of filing. Friends, in the letter part, I have highlighted four cases, four different cases, whereby you will come to know the return has been filed on tax date, but at the down it is showing date of filing Y. The date of filing Y has been, one has been before March 21, one has been after March 22. So that is the date is coming. I will show you with the proper uh, this pen number and other thing in the later part of presentation. Forgot password option not working. This forgot password option is not working, and you ask the helpline number also. Same repetitive message comes. This port, this issue is yet to be resolved. Refund issue already we discussed. Friends, in the idea 3 utility, if my income is about 2.5 lakhs under business or profession, error is coming, the balance sheet details need to be filled, without which idea is not getting filed. Even though I have income under 44AD, 44ADA, whereby I need to put balance sheet and front loss account only four items. But still, the idea three, the government utility, it gives the error, and whereby the return is not getting filed. If I don't prepare the balance sheet there, so this is the error in the idea three utility presently. So those who are using the government utility, if you still want to file, the solution available is prepare the balance sheet and then submit. Then it will go. 
without that this return will not get defined even though for the 4480 and 4480 this is not required in the it portal it has been mentioned in the it side income tax filing side it has been mentioned that those who are declaring income under the presumptive option there is no need to maintain the books of account and prepare the returns in spite of the same the portal asks for the another issue income above 50 lakhs they need to file schedule a what is schedule a schedule of assets and liabilities friends we try to file the details we try to file the schedule a whereby all the assets and liabilities detail has been properly filled in spite of saying the return is not getting filed it is giving the error kindly fill the schedule a online save data changes and change of income and tax liability there are the issues with the it portal utility which they have provided whereby the income data changes if you are log out or if you go out from the portal and again log in then there is a issues that previously whatever data you have saved it doesn't get saved and your tax liability changes hence the professionals who are using the it portal utility kindly check the sub at the time of the submission you can have a pre scrutiny done and check the total income and total tax liability twice so that the error does not go further further in the it portal there is an error for short term capital gain is coming short term capital gain is getting taxed at 30 percent but as a normal tax rate you need to put it again under section 101a then it gets corrected but if you don't notice your tax liability might increase it off so you need to be careful for that in 112a schedule also if the final figure in decimals then it is a giving an error your final figure should not be in decimals it's a long term capital gain 112a sheet so your final figure should be without decimals care has to be taken for that this i already discussed same bank account appears multiple times quarterly dividend income matching friends as you are aware from the current year from the financial year 2021 dividend income is taxable and you need to report the dividend income quarterly like suppose if you have received a 1 lakh rupees dividend you need to report the dividend received before 15 june dividend received after 16 june to 15 of september after 16 September to 15 December, after 16 December to 15 March, and after 16 March till 31st March. So you need to give the breakup for the purpose of 224C calculation. This breakup needs to be given. And if you don't give, your idea is not getting validated. And you will not be able to file the return if your details are not being filled. And kindly take care for that. This also has been uh, discussed earlier. I have already informed grievance resolution is not in a right direction. First of all, we are not able to receive the grievances on time, but the resolution is not coming on time. The grievance resolution quality is also not up to the mark. Whatever our, our grievances are there. It is not getting resolved properly. ITR forms for the previous year is not getting downloaded. If suppose I want to download ITR form which I filed for 2018, presently it is not getting downloaded. In some of the cases, it is getting downloaded. 
so this is a, not a feature for all maybe in other some cases it is available some cases it is not available intimation and section 143 but not getting downloaded closer orders of assessment proceedings not getting downloaded so suppose if you have any assessment done for the assessment year 2015-16 whereby you made a submissions this assessing officer had closed the order and the order previously which was visible under the old folder now this all details are not available or visible and you are not able to see the closure order also further if you are on the it portal when by suppose a demand has come 200 rupees demand has come to do some interest calculation and from the it portal if you click from the outstanding demand pay the tax previously the feature was available whereby your din number your pan your address of the taxpayer were all getting auto populated at nsdl website the same thing is not happening presently even though you are clicking from the logins of the it portal from the ssc and clicking on the pay demand but still you need to fill up the pan address everything you need to fill up for the outstanding demand which you need to pay in acknowledgement one second in acknowledgement which is being generated for the financial year 2021 you might have noticed the many acknowledgement getting generated that by your name your father's name and surname there is no space coming it is all coming in the one line. I don't know, but there is a issue with the mapping or whatever. But the acknowledgement is getting coming all in one line. It is coming presently. No provision to mention UDI in form 15C. I already discussed. Old file forms, audit reports not available to download. These are all the technical glitches which I have noticed. There are there may be many more and many people might be facing which other might not be facing also so in presently we cannot so the features are all common for all the cc or all the professionals clubbing on income of the minor child whereby the deduction under section 1032 for 1500 is available presently it is not getting auto populated in the return Now, this is very major concern. If you have written your file in a one forty, you have filed the return and it has been one forty eight has been done already. And now you have received notice for the second one forty eight. And when you are filing the return in response to the notice under section one forty eight. It says that response is already submitted against notice 148 with the acknowledgement number. So your return for the second 148 is not getting filed. It says that it is already submitted. Many bank accounts which were getting pre earlier pre-validated in the new portal, same bank accounts are wrongly displaced as not privileged and you need to do the privilegation again you need to do the privilegation again for that many might have received the notice under section 139 in the old id portal which was constant till 31st of may now you need to respond to that you need to file the return in response to 139 but the safe facility is not yet started under the new portal so we need to wait till the time this facility is started now we all know these are all time barring activity which we need to do in time out 
like suppose notices is come defective notice generally there is a time of 15 days 30 days to comply of 15 days 30 days is already gone because portal has started from 7 june today we are in 14th of august but still this facility is not available now friends i have state the technical glitches now i will show some of the facilities from where it is available what are the new features which is available and what are the glitches the snapshot of the glitches friends when you go to the portal under the downloads this is the year is coming and the common offline utility like idr1 to idr4 common utility and the date of json release is coming 10th august 2021 so on 10th august last release has come which is 1.0.8 desktop utility idr 5 to 7 is yet to come presently idr 1 to 4 it is a common json file utility is available those who are using filing from the it portal government utility those who are using the software things Maybe software providers have started IDR 1, 2, and 4, but IDR 3, some software has yet not started. They are saying that we are awaiting the confirmation from the government. This is the tax deposit chart, which is available in the profile. Whereby you will notice this is chart downloaded for one of the SEC. You will notice that. See, it shows the total tax deposited and year. Like in the, you deposited this much of the tax amount. This is your advance tax amount, which you deposited last year, which you deposited current year, plus self-assistant tax, plus TCS, TDS. Everything is been showing under chart mode for the two years, AY 2021 and AY. For the two years, it is available. This is the tax deposit chart, which is visible from the my profile. Recent file returns. This has a three components. It shows your taxable income. It shows your tax liability. It shows your tax deposit. For the previous year and the, for the current year, whatever up to file you are filing to last year like it is showing for the ay 2021 and it is showing for the ay 1920 friends filing of income tax forms as we have seen from the portal file income tax forms presently 38 forms are visible if you notice the form has been mentioned from 10 IB, from 10 IF, 10 CCB, 10 CCBA. So presently, the person who is deriving the income from business or profession, 38 forms is available in the IT portal. I have not tried any of the forms, only I tried the form 10 IB and 10 IB for the 115 BSC new regime cases. Both are not getting filed. Hence, I am not able to comment whether these forms are getting filed or some issues are going on. But 38 forms are visible presently for the person who is deriving income from business or profession. The person who is not having income from profession, from, for them, 12 forms are visible. These are the 12 forms for the others. The like equalization levy from 10A, from 10B, 10BB, 10BBC, 15CA. 12, 12 forms are available. Appeals form 3. So these forms are available for filing. There might be issue with the saving of the form. In the form, I told NIB this is was a, there was an issue of the saving of the form and form was not getting filed. Friends, this is the annual information statement which I have downloaded for one of the client for the assessment year 2021. Please note, for the assessment year 2021-22, this is presently, this 
is still not visible. For financial year 20, it is available. Now you can click and from the new information statement, you can download. And it contains all information. It contains whatever income you received, you have shown, further your bank deposit to the bank, whatever SFT information they are deriving or whatever information they are deriving from the PDS things. The all the details will come here. It is a two page form, but it contains this. Here it contains the information derived from 3B, like GSC portal, and interest income reported by the reporting entity. So that information is available. This is annual information statement. Now, friends, coming to the IT portal password policy. Previously, the IT portal now, if you want for the new SEC, the IT portal characters should have minimum eight characters, maximum 14 character. It should include both uppercase and lowercase. It should contain number and it should have a special character. So you need to keep in mind it should be minimum eight characters. It should include both uppercase and lowercase. It should contain a number and it should have a special character. The same policy was not there for the old IT portal. Now coming to the technical issues, some screenshot I'm sharing with you. Friends, you will notice the return for the assessment year 2021. It was filed on 9th March 2021. But date what it shows? 3rd September 2021. Today we are sitting on 14th August. 3rd September is yet not come. But still it is showing 3rd September 2021. In the acknowledgement number, the date is coming properly. But here it shows filed on 3rd September. I think there is some issue with the mapping of the dates due to which this error is coming. It might be resolved because they are aware this problem is there. It might get resolved within a few days, but this issue is coming. I will present more cases like this. Here also, assessment year 21-22, which was filed recently, but the date is coming 8th April. It was filed on 4th August. 4th August, date is interchanging. Date and month is getting interchanged. So that's why this error is coming. Friends, here, this return was filed on 4th of August. What is the date it's showing? It shows 3rd August 2022. Next year, 3rd August 2022. From where it is picking up? God knows. Friends, here, when assessing was updating the details, you just see what is the date of birth showing. The date of birth is 321733 and after that 8 lakh. I don't know. So, maybe in login issue is there, there is a some issues are there which as and when they are getting aware about it, it is getting rectified. This was the error which is coming for filing of form 10A. For filing of 10A, it is giving an error, submission failed, no response received from server. So this was the error which is coming. Again, when SCC has received a notice on 4th August 2021, he was trying to respond that notice for which the due date was 13 August. He wants an adjournment for the 20 August 2021. But he is getting an error. What error is popping up? Please select a date seven days prior to 31st March 2021. 
How you can celebrate a date when your response due date was 13 August 2021, correct? And you are responding well ahead of time, ahead of the 13 August 2021, you are responding for getting his adjournment, for seeking the adjournment, correct? But still, the portal is giving the error, kindly select a date prior to 31st March 2021. So these are the issues, which is as and when they are getting the idea or information, they are trying to resolve it, but it will take time. Friends, one thing I have noticed, one thing I have noticed, since they have, as and when they are uh, updating with the ITR utility, the whatever information they have got or whatever information they are aware that these are the issues they are coming out with the solution but the problem which i am i am seeing that the amended utility is coming up with another problem so it is not getting tested properly maybe they are uh, releasing the new utility without doing proper testing of that or maybe testing might have done but the issue might not have been noticed. So this is the issue which, in my view, this is going to last in whole, whole, whole season. As the uh, idea is yet to come, we are today on 14 August. The due date for non-audit cases is 30th September. But still filing gets issues. So in my view, definitely date is going to be extended. The date September also will get extended, not because the SECs are not ready or the professors are not ready, but because there are glitches, there are issues with the IT portal, this will get delayed. And accordingly, the tax audit case and other dates also will get delayed. Friends, just imagine ITR 5 form has not come. If I want to file a return for the partnership form, where I need to file ITR 5, the form is not yet available. And further, when it will be available, definitely my service provider will take five to seven days for having the idea and for removing the glitches. So definitely ITR 5 filing, I don't think so, will start, will start before 25th of August. Then you are left with only one month for filing the forms. For finding the returns for the IDR file, you want to find. Actual error. There are so many errors are there. As I told, Bombay Chartered Accountant has submitted a letter to the Finance Minister and to the CBDT Chairman, to the CPC. It contains 14 pages whereby they have highlighted under each services what are the issues available, which they might have noticed, which is a already submitted to the finance minister. Friends, this is the error for 148. It shows your return is already submitted. You cannot resubmit it. When you are filing the return, it says your return is already submitted. So there are many, many new issues are cropping up. And then when we will learn or uh, as in when I can say the portal stabilize this, these issues will get resolved. This is the issue related to the HUF things, which is a very common issue and all are aware. It is asking that in part A general, return is being filed by representative SEC, but pen quoted in the representative field is not the same. The pen is trying to upload the return. Friends, for this, I have tried two, three different options. In the verification portal, I tried to put HUF PAN number. At that instance itself, it gives me the error, the PAN is incorrect. Then I tried to file through representative SEC, even though I know that is not correct. But I thought, let us try it off. But there also it is not going. So there is some issue with their mapping of the PAN number. That's why, even though in the verification stage, you are putting the PAN number of the karta. 
but when finally it automatically gets the pen number of the HUL and the issue persists. Friends, this is the case of the grievances which I have lodged today also, and which I have lodged on 18 June also. Small issue, nothing is there. 26 H credit is available. In ITR credit was not given. But still, letter has been filed with the AO, everything has been done, but still it is not getting resolved. So, like that, many SECs, many professionals might be facing many issues because like what we are facing a problem for these technical glitches for the portal. The same problem is faced by the incumbent officer also. So they are also not, not able to work for any of the rectification or any other matter, except for the issues of the notice. Notice they are able to issue it off. 148 be let it be 148 notice or other notices. That that notice is coming properly, but other work like rectification or other thing is not happening from the income tax offices. Now, this is a unique issue, friends. This is also for one of my clients. I have downloaded preferred data after the client login. This is his client's PIN number. And when I'm going for a validation, it says me invalid PAN. The PAN format should be first five alphabets, next four digits, then one alphabet, and four letters should be P. Now, this is my actual return. How the four letter can be P? And I have taken a preprint data, friends. The preprint and everything has worked. Only when I have filed all details, tax liability has been computed, tax has been duly paid, and I'm going for a verification. At that time, this it is giving me this error. So I'm surprised how this error is cropping up. But there is a problem. This is also issue coming in idea three. If liable to furnish audit report, mention the date of furnish audit report. By automatically default, it is coming yes. And every time you need to do the no, those who are using the idea utility from the government portal, this issue is there. I am not aware about the software providers, whether this issue is there or not. But those who are using the government utility, this issue comes by default, it's, it is selected, it is yes. Actually, it should be no, if it, there is no audit report, but it is by default, it is selected yes. This is also some validation error. Very unique error, I can say. I am setting up some carry forward laws against my current years in those all data is auto filled. I am just filling my carry forward loss CFL. From that, if my current income is available, it is being set off. This all data in schedule BFL and schedule CFL is coming up and it is auto catching. Still, it gives me the error. And I am not able to file the return. So, these are some unique things. While mapping the idea, I don't think so. The, the, the issue which I have noticed on friends, previously the idea utility which was available or which was with the old portal, that was in a horizontal way. No, it was in a vertical way. Here it is new idea portal. It is all horizontal. And once you cannot move out or once you cannot confirm, the things are not confirmed from each stage, whatever schedules you have selected, like 30 schedules, 25 schedules. So these are all unique problems. Friends, thank you very much for the patient hearing. Few precautions I will just give you, then we will take the question answers. As I told you, OTP, try to, whenever you are filing the returns, do the OTP immediately if the uh, in the mobile number other is available. Do it immediately so that you, are, you will be able to save the acknowledgement and you will not get the issue of the downloaded acknowledgement later stage. 
So that you need to take care. Further, for merged banks, kindly update the bank details. Otherwise, your refund will fail. So kindly take the precaution for that. For the merged banks, verify. Verify the ITR and preview it twice if you are using government utility because tax computation and your income might get changed. Your section 109 income get taxed at normal rates. So kindly verify it twice. Friends, due to the portal issues, you will come notice that the processing for ITR for the 2020 has been kept on hold for last three months. Now they have started processing some returns. But many returns which we have filed in last year are yet to be processed. So due to which it has a multiple effects. If refund is due, refund is not yet arrived to the SEC. In the current corona cases where the SEC are from facing many problems, if the refund due has not been arrived on time. It is giving multiple effects. So these are the issues which are the separate one as compared to the portal issues. Thank you very much, friends, for the patient hearing. Now I will take the questions. Pavin, by how will you take the questions? Yeah, Amamta um, Madam will be there. Amamta will read out the questions. Uh, see, um, various issues have been given by the participants. So Mamta has brought out all the issues one by one. So speak out the issues. Please. Yes, yes, I'm there. Sorry, Manish, when the starting there wasn't some uh, error no, no, from no, my end. No, 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 thanks, thanks. Now your voice is coming very nice. Thank you. Yes, yes. Sir. One question is by filing return under 148, it shows your return already filed. You cannot resubmit. Yes, I, I have highlighted the same in the presentation. No? My third slide, uh, third last slide. The same issue is coming up. It is there. We need to do the filing again and again. We need to try. Maybe suppose the issue is coming today. After three, four days, the issue might not come and your return might get filed. But in the re, uh, if your 148 is again, that is second times, that issue also is there. That second times, 148 returns are not getting submitted. So this is the portal issue. Manish, we need to wait. Manish, bhai, sorry. Yes. Uh, in this situation, 148. Can we submit physical form to the officer because you are not able to submit this because of the issues with the site? Can we submit the physical form to the officer in response to the 148 notices? You can, yes, uh, you can submit the physical. Whenever you explain in a letter that this are the error coming, take a screenshot and the printout of the error also and submit that also with the date coming. So, whereby the assessing officer will have the idea that this is the issue with the portal. But ultimately, see, now everything is done by the system. So they will mm. also say, wait for the days. Once it comes, you file it in the system. Okay, sir. Thank because, you. Because if you are physical, they will not be able to upload on the portal, no? Okay, sir. Fine. Thank you. Yeah, yeah please. You, 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 for the, for the uh, suppose 30 days are available, whereby you can physically submit if it is not moving, right? And in the okay. you, uh, letter you mentioned about the portal issues and a screenshot of that. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, next question is what is status password? Yeah, I have not tried. In fact, anyone as well has tried, they can just uh, guide us all. I have not tried the steady password. I have not tried the SMS. Someone has tried the SMS also. At least official wise, so I have not tried it off. Because, see, uh, in the features available, there are issues. So where we can try the new things, definitely we should have the first idea. There are videos available for the static password on the side map, under the side map. Anyone who wants to try the static password, they can definitely first see the video and they can do it, try it off. I have not tried and sorry, I will not be able to answer it off. Thank you, Anish. Bhai. Next is form 35 is appeal not saved by portal. Yes. So there yes, are uh, Manish, uh, there are a uh, few uh, members have shared their uh, problems which they are uh, facing on IT portal. That may not be in the form of uh, questions, but just I'm sharing with you. See, I told you know, filing of the forms 
uh, is not getting saved. That is a problem which I am also facing for submission of the two forms. For the form one for the form eighty CG rent deduction and one for the new regime moving. Forms are not getting saved. OTP is not going. There are issues are there, and these issues already is in the knowledge of the Infosys people. Right now, sir, they might be working on it, but we don't know when the this issue will be get resolved. But till that time, I think uh, we need to keep the holding of that forms because what happens if you try it again and again? No, sometimes you also get frustrated. You try five and six times, forms will not get saved, and again same thing. Yesterday, I in the WhatsApp, I have seen the Sural C A Association. They have said that we have collectively taken the decision in the Sural that no one will file any form and return until all the issues in the IT portal will get resolved. That is there what I have said. Uh, uh, I think so in the our uh, WhatsApp it is come. I don't know about that. There are issues definitely, and I say uh, have a patience. In December, January, these issues are going going to go on because we have not yet come. Idea five, idea six has not come. Idea seven has not come. The issues will be there in that also. So till January, your uh, up till last, what we have done, I recollect in the last year, financial year twenty, the last date for filing was fifteen February two thousand twenty one for the audit cases. The same thing, I think so. It's going to happen for the current year also. They might have. They have to extend the dates. Uh, next is form. Uh, one member is uh, could not file form within thirty days, and grievance is also filed, and no response for the grievance. Uh, which form is they are referring? Form thirty-five. Form thirty-five. Oh, so form thirty-five is not able to file. No. And due date is over now, and grievance no. submitted no response. Okay. So in that case, you know, uh, I think so. Even if the late you submit, you need to submit with the request for the confirmation of the late. You can submit with the late with the request with the confirmation of the late later. Then kindly. My request for the confirmation be accepted because as there was issue with the site due to which I am not able to file the form. Possibly the link might not be there for the filing of the form, but I, I think so. There is no question of the link because the filing is a form 35. You will be able to file the form even though after 35 30 days also so it's lapse. Just send the uh, in the attachment send the request for the confirmation of the delay. As due to portal issue, I am not able to file the forms. Okay. Next question is: uh, We are not getting the acknowledgement after filing the return, which you have, I think you have already dealt with. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, see, yeah. Uh, acknowledgement in the grievance, I will tell you the quality of the grievance resolution is very, very poor. But the grievance resolution is not coming in spite of one or two months. The resolution which is coming is not up to the mark. I told you know one of the my resolution. They said your grievance has been resolved and your matter has been escalated to higher authority. Whether well, that is a resolution? That is not a resolution. So it is not up to the mark. I have had one of the my uh, screen also whereby I have lost the grievance today also, which was initially I have lost on 18th of June. That is also not get resolved. So there is an issue. There is a almost I can say every day minimum they are getting twenty five to thirty thousand grievances every day. Minimum they are getting that much. Yes, from the right. Yes, can yes. Can we move to next question? Yes, yes, yes. Next is uh, the same. Uh, long term capital gain sheet edit facilities are not available. uh see uh, long term capital gains sheet no if you are using the government it portal utility they have feature available whereas csv file they were given the csv file format you can put the details in the csv file format 
and that csv file format gets uploaded and the details will available if you are using some software then software vendors might have provided you the information from wherever you need to fill up the details and you can provide the information and how file many returns with the it uh, long term capital details it is getting file although in the one or two it doesn't get files immediately one or two three stage then it shows some error we are activating the errors and after that it is getting file so you need to prepare the details properly and all you know decimals issues is coming in the government utility suppose if your long term capital outcome is 115.93 Kindly try to put 115 or round it up, increase the cost or decrease the sale consideration. Yes. The next question is whether filing form 10 IE is mandatory for form 1 and 2. For form 1, one and, two. and 2. Yeah. If you are opting under the new regime, you need to file the form because if, when you are going for filing the form, no? It is asking date of filing and acknowledgement number. Hence, you will not be able to go move ahead if you are moving under the new regime and you are not filing the form 10 I. Next is uh, try to file form 15 CA online, but it is not generating. Yeah, there are there are many issues with the form 15 CA. If you notice the uh, BCA's letter, no, which they will address. Anyone can type in Google BCA letter addressed to finance minister or the BCA letter on our income tax portal. They have highlighted only on the form 15 CA eight issues in detail. I have not taken this presently because then uh, Matlab, you might be discussing only 15 CA. We might not move to the other areas. So there are many issues on the form 15 CA, 15 CB. Issues are there. That is the portal issues. It might get resolved. It will take them some time. You need to see maybe after three, four days or after a week time. Till it will it get resolved. But there are many issues in the form 15 CACB file. Uh, Manish Mike, just adding to this. Yes. I think they are allowed to submit the physical form of 15 CACB till 15th August. Yes, yes, yes. They are allowed to submit the physical form of 15 CACB. But, uh, Bhavind, uh, Tell me one thing, 15 CA physical also, and then you need to do it. Uh, yes. upload already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, no, you told it after, after getting this, you need to upload it. Yeah, so physical will be that uh, you will submit it to the either to the bank or to the SEC who will submit it wherever you need to submit it to, to the authorized yes, yeah. right? Right? I mean, you will take the copy, you will give it to the SEC, as I will to the bank. Yes, right. Here, Manish, so just, I just yeah. want to add that. Uh, yeah, Manish, I just I want to add here is the government has come out with an date extensions for those which are been faced by the RBI, like the government authorities itself, or the NRI people or the NR people, where the forex uh, transmissions are been involved. But as far as 148 is concerned, or some of the returns which we have already dealt with in the elaborations that you discussed today in the meeting, yes. I don't yes. think any addresses are been made by the finance ministry or the government level that at least a mental peace can be enjoyed by the person who has been facing the trouble. Uh, Mahindra Bhai, see, even if you visit to the income tax office, even if you visit to income tax commissioner, joint commissioner, they are also aware. They are also replying, they are what they are replying it off. They say we are aware about the IT portal issues, correct not? As and when the facility will be available, you just file the forms or you just file the return. That is what the reply they are giving. They will accept the physical return if you want to file the physical. But you are increasing the trouble because you, then you need to do again the so filing through IT portal you need to do because the processing will not take place unless and until the return is available in the portal. Yes, so just for the sake of a time issue, you can do it. I'm, I'm on the point that the mental pressure that all of us are in facing at a national or a local level who has been into the local issues like the itr form filing 148 forms filling up or some uh, appeals which are is to be uploaded and all those are not been addressed so far but addresses have been made for those issues which have been very important for the rbi people to know or some nr or 
NRI people who have been facing for taking away the money abroad and all. That is what I am saying is, the those have been addressed properly. Yes, I think so. The understanding is wrong. My concern is... Uh, have you read the BCS letter, 14 page letter? Not, not yet. Have you read sir. it? Not yet. Okay, no? okay. In there, for the 148, there are four or five items are there. Yeah. Whatever the concerns are there for 148, they have highlighted each and every concerns which they might have come to know, uh, knowledge or to the committee of the whom who have finalized the letter. So they have addressed, they have addressed the whatever the issues available with the returns. With the 148 or time or meeting. Now I'm telling Manishma, you. Manish, who, who has addressed this? Who has addressed you say? Bombay Charter Government Society. Yeah, BCA has addressed. I'm saying about this clarity from the government side, sir. I am talking about the government side. There are enough of circulars or notifications explaining the due dates, ex extensions for such 15 CA, CB or some resolutions being taken up by the government and clarifications have come on these issues which are really affecting to their authorities like RBI or some of the foreign nationals. That is what I am saying. What about the nationals people, national people who have been facing the trouble like that is what I am saying. So there is no, yes. no deal, dealing from the government side on this. That is what just I am bringing to the note of all of us. Yes. To my knowledge, the resolution is yet to come. Now, suppose if they address or if they come out, then within 15 days, you can file or they, they, they will give the deadline, extension. By that time, the resolution should be ready. The resolution is not ready yet. Sir, I do appreciate your concern. I do appreciate your concern. But if they said that physical forms will be accepted by the department, at least a relaxation may be felt by the person who is facing such trouble that having I filed with the department, at least if the forms have not been uploaded for five, seven times after trying so many hard times, I think at least a mental peace can be there with the person who is looking after that job particularly. Yes. I'm not saying the deadlines which they should have announced. Yes. I'm sorry, it is a huge difference. Yeah, they're, they're, they are receiving the various letters or complaints from the various bodies, various industries also, that this issue is being faced. But now, since the resolution is not visible from their side, till what time it will be resolved, they are not come up with the answer. Yes, uh, Mamta, can we take the next question? Mamta, it is okay? Yes, yes, we will take. Yeah, yeah, we will take up later on, sir. It's a personal, so I don't, don't, I don't want to stress too much on this. Sorry, sir. No problem. Thank you. Return under section 148 file wherein the acknowledgement is generated without digital signature. Now there is no way to re verify the same. Without digital signature, so it was not re verified. Or re verified, it, was, it needs to be re verified, no? Return needs to be re verified. So whether e verification is not available to the SEC or uh, what is the problem? I didn't get the problem. Uh, good evening. Good evening, sir. Uh, this is Sanakshi here. I have raised this issue. Uh, yeah. So, in our case, the return got filed. Okay. We, we could see the acknowledgement. Uh, but okay. uh, there in the it is not digitally signed. And now, if we are trying to e verify it, it is asking us to uh, go through Aadhaar OTP option. And this is for a company. So, I don't know how this option is showing for Aadhaar OTP. And if I'm even clicking on it, it is uh, asking me to link Aadhaar and PAN. And I don't know like why this issue is uh, coming. Okay. Uh, tell me one thing. In the acknowledgement, whatever is there, at the bottom, anything is coming? Like this return has been uh, verified or like that? Any issue or any... Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, so the name, there? the name of the director is coming. Everything is, everything which we have filled is coming. But it is not digitally signed. Like how there is a uh, there is a number generated when you digitally sign it. You know that uh, address is there. It is not. It is not appearing over there. Okay. 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 I, I I think the issue because otherwise this returns for the company without digital signature should not go at all at first stage itself only. How it is gone? Uh, the portal only knows how it is. They have accepted it all. 
and other of the options also should not come in the case of legal indication for the company. Because exactly, they have the digital sir. They must. Correct. Yes, sir. I don't know, but there are issues with the portal because many are saying that we have not verified the uh, the return, but still our return shows it is getting already very verified. So many are CS are complaining that your case is reverse verified. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Manish, you need to see. Yeah. Hello. Sorry. Manish, bhai, on the form 10 I E, this is yeah. Chetan. Uh, in case of a business income, only we have to file 10 I, right? Otherwise, there is option in the return itself. Correct. Right. Right. Because right. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yes. For other SEC, for the other SEC, you can switch on. But the current year, if you are filed with the new regime, next year option is available to you. You can switch to the old regime also. But yeah, that yeah. facility that, that is not available to the business. It is available to the business only one time. Like suppose if I move for 21 to a new regime, correct? I file the form and I move to the new regime. And once in a lifetime facility is available to me to move back to the old regime. And if I move back to the old regime, I cannot move it again to the new regime. Understood. Thank you, Manish. Yeah. But uh, Manish, by whether this form 10E is to be filed in case of suppose if I am an SSE not having business income, so whether and I am opting for new regime, so whether yes. that form is required to be filed? No, no. If you are not having a business income, then there is no uh, need to file this form 10I. Because you are not having a business income. And in the return, return. process uh, in the return itself only. In the okay. return, you have to select. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Shall we move to another question? Yes. If, if mobile is mobile number is not registered with Aadhaar and DSC also not available, how to file 10 IE? Uh, go to any Aadhaar center near by and uh, or any post office. <laughs> mobile mobile number registered. Within 10 days, it will be done. Maximum 10 days, I am talking. Right? And then you can get an OTP on your mobile and you do the processing or filing, whatever you want to do it. <laughs> Nowadays, your mobile number should be registered in Aadhaar. It is must. It is a very simple solution. Or if you don't right. want to do it, then buy the ESC. You can buy the ESC. There is no other option available presently. Thank you. Whether Form 10 IE has to be filed only once or every year? Whether opting to new tax regime is allowed only once or every year? See, when you are opting for the new regime, correct? You are already opting and filing the Form 10 IE. So now next year you will not again file Form 10 IE. You need to file Form 10 IE when you are moving to the old regime back. At that time, you need to file. Otherwise, you will not file PNI again next year. Shall I take another next question? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Yes. No problem. When applying until, for... Until, until you stop, I am going to speak. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. When applying for adjournment for second time of CIT appearing, the uploading tab is refreshed and not able to upload adjournment letter. Have sent email to grievance team as well as CIT appeal ID appearing about digital signature. However, no response received till date. Submission will be filed by 31st August only. What can be done further to save client interest? Uh, you can uh, raise the grievance again with the CIT team that kindly uh, give the adjournment for filing our submissions. They can, they will be able to do it. Only it should come to their knowledge. And if it is within the city, kindly approach to the concerned CIT if you are having the idea to whom it is there. And if it is a through national paceless there, then there is no option available. You can just send an email or grievance only. Because you are not aware who is CIT, to whom you should speak, or to whom you should say that this uh, tab to be available for filing the printings. You need to raise the grievances frequently, maybe by once in a 20 days, 25 days, until the same gets resolved. Thank you, Manish. Bhai. Uh, we are done with the questions. Okay.
Thank you uh, very now. much. Yeah. Uh, one, one more, one more thing. Pavan uh, and the Mamta Ben and the team GSC. Recently, yes, last yes, two months, uh, I have seen the uh, the work, hard work done by you all teams. Almost you are having the lectures. You are uh, previously uh, we were having the lectures of the either two in a month or a three in a month max. But presently, I am seeing that from last two months, you are I mean, we are having it four lectures or every week we are having a lecture meeting for the betterment and for the knowledge sharing of the members. So congrats to you all the whole team for the good work carried out by you both whole team. Huh? Whole team is thank, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Because of all our support. Sir. Thank you. Uh, can we take one question? One of us asking. Yeah. Yes, sir. Please. Yeah, uh, in ITR two, uh, is there a problem with preview, print and download option? After filing all the details, uh, after filing all the details means before uh, filing it off, right? Correct. Before correct. It, before before submitting it off. No, there is no options available. You are, there is no uh, uh, this any issue with that. It, it is coming properly, nicely. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You you are using um, the government utility or you are using the software some softwares. Government government utility. No, government utility, you just click on the preview, the option is available, you will be able to download it also. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, but my request to all the people who are using the government utility, kindly rethink it off because in the current year, the whatever the, the version, whatever available, and the updation is going on, and the issues which is there, you need to move to the software vendors. That is my humble request to all the professional members. Manish Bhai, uh, is there any uh, availability uh, like email ID or contact number in case of any difficulty that we are facing so we can mail or contact them? Yes, yes. Uh, I can I can share the one number. You just note down, I will give you. It is the number of the uh, CSCV Raman. You can just note down it. Just one second. It is a number of the uh, this uh, S Raman. The name is S Raman. But he is one of the ten chartered accountants who are communicating with the Infosys. His uh, number is eight zero five six two eight two eight three nine. I repeat. Eight zero five six two eight two eight three nine. I will give yes. this email address also. You can just WhatsApp the issues what you are facing it off. Correct now. So they are on day to day basis communicating with the infosys for the issues what they receive it off. Okay. I think I think uh, I don't know whether that email ID is correct. E filing uh, many of times uh, I got this uh, from the group and all. E filing web manager whether it is workable. At no, income tax. Not, no, no, I, I have not tried. I will tell you the quality of the response under the new uh, this. Even if you call also on telephone numbers also, it is very very poor. Not up to the mark, I can say. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I think all questions are covered. Okay. Uh, one more question. I think it is in my repeated one. So just. For business return, whether new regime taxation is assumed, that is to for filing business under new regime, need to perform 10i. I think you already answered it is you have to find 10i. Right? Yes. Right. Uh, uh, I think members, we have covered Manish Bhai covered all the questions. Thank you, Mamta, for uh, referring the questions. All the questions are covered. Before taking okay. the vote of thanks, yeah, before taking vote of thanks, a few announcements and few requests. Remember, we have seen today many of the members have not mentioned the name and number. I can give you uh, what's a photo also now. He has written as column, caller one, caller number one, caller number two, caller number six, nine, ten, eleven. We are getting difficulties to give a lot their uh, their uh, CP credit also. Sometimes if other members who are not members of Guard Corp or if they have joined, they are not permitted to join without payment of any fees for this particular session. So if they have joined, we request them to please pay the fees. And in future, please take note that you are not supposed to join unless you pay the fees. This is for the betterment of the uh, profession. Uh, Manish Bhai, your session was really good. Uh, before, uh, one more announcements regarding next session. Next session will be on 21st August by CA Aditya Shurte. 
subject will be issues related to input tax credit on GST 5 to 7. Uh, now I request Ravi Bhai, Ravi Jain to please give a hearty vote of thanks to Manish Bhai. Thank you, Manish Bhai. Thank you, Bhavin Bhai. Thank you, the convener. Thank you, the convener of the study circle for giving this opportunity. And I'm so uh, honored and I'm so privileged, I would say, that uh, to give a vote of thanks to the uh, my dear friends and my uh, mentor, my guy. Uh, I mean, uh, what not? You know, the managed by the, the way he takes care of the latest updates and uh, even in our study group, the way he tries to explain the topic and the subject. Uh, he really uh, took us through an excellent uh, walkthrough uh, or during his presentations, the way many practical difficulties which everyone, which who, uh, every one of us are facing uh, while filing the return of income. Perhaps uh, this time, this time uh, myself, I have not tried to file any return looking at the uh, various responses in the professional forums, the WhatsApp group and other forums that uh, so many errors which are getting pop up while filing the return. Uh, certainly managed by uh, you, had, you had shared your guidance uh, on the various issues being faced and certainly going to help us. Uh, help the all the members of the study circle uh, while filing the return of income and definitely uh, it would be an helping uh, material to everyone to tackle the same so on behalf of study circle and on behalf of each one every one of uh, one of the member uh, i request uh, a hearty vote of thank i give a hearty vote of thank to manish bhai thank you thank you so much uh, manish bhai thank you thank you manish bhai Thank you. Thank you, Manish. It was really good. Thank you. Thanks, members. We'll Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you, Manish. Thank you, Manish. Thank you.